What is going on everybody? In this video, I want to go over what I think has been the best red zone passing play in Madden 17, and that play is single back tight flex, pack out and up. Now, the route that makes this play so effective is that AJ Green speed in route. I'm going to go ahead, run the play a few times for you and break it down on why I think it is so effective. So snap the ball here and you're going to see you get that nice high point in the back of the end zone to AJ Green. And guys, pretty much unless it's being usered, you're going to see that almost every single time. And even as a user defender, it's very tough to keep up with uh, because of just how quick that route is. It's very difficult to kind of time those speed in and speed out routes as a user defender. But what you're going to see, uh, the beauty of this play, you can run it stock. As you see right there, Jeremy Hill picks up a clutch block, a cut block on the edge there. But the reason this play is so effective is right here so you see the routes you see AJ Green is starting his cut right there but Tyler Eifert dragging underneath now he's not really occupying anybody right here but it can be a route obviously a drag route you can hot route you know out of any formation any play but this is a great route to occupy potentially a user defender uh, they might go for the shallow route first it's the first route they see breaking over the middle if they're a very aggressive user they might go for that one the other route that makes this play work is this out and up by brandon lafell notice how he's on the out route path right now now he's going to cut up a little later in his route and turn into an out and up but you can see he's occupying the defenders right here so he's pulling this linebacker to the outside and he's occupying this safety. So this is allowing this huge open area right here uh, to become available. AJ Green past his cut is going to cut right past this defender. And these two guys have already been dragged out uh, by Brandon LaFell, leaving this wide open area in the back of the end zone for AJ Green here. Easy high point, especially when you have a receiver like AJ Green is going to go up and make those spec catches in the back of the end zone for you untouched for an easy touchdown. So and the reason this play is also so good, not only because of the routes, but because of the fact that it's a compressed formation and basically the wide receiver split. So AJ Green starting out in a compressed split really helps him across the field much quicker than he would if, it were, if he were out wide. Uh, that's pretty key to this concept. You want to get him you know, across the field in the back of the end zone basically as quickly as possible right there you see it again it looked like the defense was actually in a little bit of a better setup there uh, but it's still going to get the same result those those complimentary routes are just so good right here against man to man uh, man to man has no shot at keeping up with that route that's just a natural man beating route so you know two man under cover one just not going to cut it right there once again man to man and you just have to be patient wait for the cut if he gets pressed like he did right there just be patient and wait it out don't rush the throw uh it'll it'll happen don't rush it and right there once again so five for five right there against random defenses with high points in the back of the end zone now this concept obviously this play single back tight flex as a formation only in the green bay packers playbook but even if you don't run the green bay playbook this concept can still be found in other playbooks and formations off the top of my head i used to run the kansas city chiefs playbook they have that shotgun gun trio chief and um, they have a nice route, just like this AJ Green one, uh, to the tight end. And so you can obviously create your own type of mesh concepts, clear out routes, stuff like that, to kind of get the same effect, you know, as AJ Green getting wide open in the back of the end zone, as you see right there once again. Also, single back tight doubles on out of the Texans playbook, I know for a fact, has a play called Drag In, which you basically see the same exact a concept on the left side here uh, you're going to get the same splits almost the same formation the only difference really is that Tyler Eifert's on the line of scrimmage as a tight end and Brandon LaFell split out wide so you're going to get a very similar result out of a play like that I believe it's in multiple different playbooks but Houston Texans for sure has it so definitely just do some digging and see if your playbook has a play similar to this one but as you can see guys very very effective right there pressure almost gets in but I still get the ball off so I think seven for seven throughout the video for high points in the back of the end zone so I hope you guys enjoyed the video uh, definitely comment let me know what you guys thought let me know what I can do better for future videos and until next time guys take it easy